everybody, it's Lindsay from The Craft Studio. Happy March. So I am going to show you this awesome idea to do sort of like a winter, spring solstice craft. I love this time of year because there's such excitement that we're getting away from winter and we can see spring on the horizon. I saw some daffodil stems. That made me very excited. No flowers yet, but it looked like the stems were coming. And I heard a rumor that there's already some buds on some of the trees around New York. So exciting. So you can either use a white piece of paper, which I'm gonna use, or a canvas. Um, depending on what you're using, I'll show you different techniques. You need a paintbrush and a cup of water. I have some tacky glue. Then I have yellow, blue, and green paint that I'm gonna twist open as I talk to you. I have a paintbrush and water with, a, with um, something to blot my paintbrush on, like a, a piece of paper towel in between colors. And then I think Ben and Nadia might have packed for you some brown uh, tissue, which I have construction paper that works too. And some orange tissue, some white tissue, some blue tissue or construction paper, and some yellow and green. So fun, right? So the first thing we're gonna do, guys, I love this technique. We are gonna make a line down the middle of our project, like almost like an invisible line. Um, if you have a piece of paper, it's really simple. You just fold it in half. Or if you're working with a canvas, like I'm gonna pretend right here, I would just take, you can even take, I have a pencil right here I'm gonna borrow. Or you can take, you know, and do a dot of paint and just find about the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, there are no mistakes in art. Just kind of draw a faint line, just so you see where it splits the half of the page. Now in the middle, of where your line is. You can see mine because it's a piece of paper. I am gonna take my brown tissue and my glue first, and I'm just gonna rip it and twist it and find a piece first to be a trunk of a tree. That's gonna take up most of the page, but before I glue it on, I want it to pop off the page, so I'm gonna crunch it like this, okay? Look at that. Tissue will do the same thing, and I'm gonna glue it down so it still pops off the page. So if you wanna use your paintbrush to dip in your glue, you can, or maybe you have a glue stick, or maybe you have squeezy glue, go ahead and do that. Doop -a -doop, -a -doop, doop -a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some smaller ripped branches. So I've glued my trunk on, and I'm gonna do the same thing. And in case you guys can't tell yet, the tree is the center, and on one side of the tree is gonna be our spring, tree scene and on the other is going to be our winter tree scene. All right, I'm going to rip some more pieces and remember it doesn't have to be the same size pieces on each side. Trees are not symmetrical. That means they don't look the same on each side. Just crunch and twist. I like twisting too. That's really cool. And fill your tree with as many branches as you want. I'm going to go ahead and do another one and do the same thing, glue them right on. I think sometimes it's nice to give a little added glue support on the actual uh, branch, but I also like putting glue down on the paper like that. All right, and remember, your tree might look a little different than mine. That is great because no two art projects should ever be alike because every artist is unique and special, and that's the beauty of art. There are no mistakes in art, and perfect is boring. That is my favorite saying. Two sayings, rather. And look, normally I wear a Craft Studio t-shirt, but today I decided to wear a tie-dye because it kind of reminded me of the mix of the seasons, the tie-dye swirls. I thought this was a good winter-spring mix one because blue can be like, dark blue can be like winter, but it's mixed in with the whites like spring. What do you guys think? All right. So this is what my tree looks like so far. And again, you guys are maybe using tissue paper, so it might look a little different. Mine is a really thick, big tree, but maybe you have some thin branches. Once it's glued on there, you can fold it even more and twist it more. You might need to add some more glue. Go ahead and, and get your tree how you like it. This is mine so far. Now is the fun part. On one side, we're gonna make it like winter. And the other side, we're gonna make it like spring. So I want to do some snowish scene on the left side, my left for winter. I'm gonna take some white tissue paper, or I'm using construction paper, 
and I'm gonna rip little bits of pieces to be some snow. And I'm gonna rip some bigger pieces to be 3D snow that's on the ground, right? Cause I want it to look like we can't even see the grass through there. And I might also do some light blue too. So it looks like adds to it, like the blue and the snow bank and blue snowflakes. And I'm gonna glue all that down. I love crafting with tissue paper or construction paper. It's so much fun. It's like you can rip and tear it and manipulate it into so many different things. That's what I love is like one person might just see a flat piece of paper, but in your mind, you can think of all the things you can do with it, which is so cool. All right. I used to say when I was a little one growing up in a very snowy Rochester, New York, that March comes in like a lion and out like a lamb. Okay, so I have my snow bank that I kind of used pieces of ripped white and blue. And then I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna dot on boop, boop, a few glue dots. And I'm gonna take these blue and white little pieces I ripped and crunch them to make it look like falling snow. And this is where I love, you can do some snow on the actual tree too, the half that's in winter. All right, I'm gonna glue some on my tree and then I'm gonna move on to my spring side and I might come back with a little bit of paint if I want to my um, winter scene. What's your favorite season? I love all the seasons. I think I really like living in an area where you can notice a big change between the seasons. But I know a lot of people who live in like California who just love that it's warm all the time. Again, we all have different opinions and that is what makes it so great. Okay, here we go. Here's my snow covered side. Looking cool, right? Now, this is where I like because I'm excited for spring. I am going to take my yellow piece of tissue, and again, I like ripping it, but if you have scissors, you can. I'm gonna make like, it's kind of like a triangle shape, right? To fit in the corner to be the sun shining. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue and bringing in the spring. I'm gonna have to move my branch a little. And then I'm gonna take my orange and I'm gonna make some sun rays by ripping a, actually, I might rip one long piece and then rip it into little pieces, like this. And put some glue on the back. And I have some orange sunshine rays. Oh, I love the sunshine. Today it's gray, it's a gray weekend and gray tomorrow, I think, but hopefully we'll have a couple sunny days this week. Okay, again, remember, if your picture looks different than mine, that is great, that's what we want. There are no mistakes in art and perfect exploring. There's my sun. I'm gonna go back and add a few little yellow in between the orange. And then we're gonna have some fun putting some buds on the flowers. Some flowering, pretty green leaves. Or if you have another color, you could do, if you have more yellow, you could do yellow flowers or orange flowers. Okay, so now I have my cool layered sunshine in the corner. Now, for the grass and the leaves, I'm gonna rip a few pieces, strips that I'm gonna then like fringe, because I'm gonna do some 3D grass, but I'm also gonna paint on some grass. So I'll get these ready by cutting, ripping strips. And again, if you have scissors and you wanna use scissors, go for it. I took one long strip and I fringed them. And I'm gonna glue these on. I'm using a lot of glue. Are you guys using a lot of glue? And then I'm gonna go back and highlight everything with paint. And then before I get to the paint, I'm gonna take my leftover yellows and greens and I'm gonna put a ton of glue dots all around my tree branches on the spring side. 
and I'm gonna stick on some beautiful bright colored tissue to be like green leaves and green flowers and you can fold and crinkle them however you want and do as many as you want. I love the idea of a full tree with lots and lots of green and yellow flowers. Go to town on that. I can't believe I've used almost a whole thing of glue. It's a very glue heavy project, huh guys? Sometimes I like just using the piece I'm using and dipping it in the glue. That's a fun technique. Okay, but you guys see my tree is starting to get bright and spring and happy. And then this is where we can get our paint in there, guys. So I am going to use a cool technique called pointillism. And I think I might've done that with you guys before, but I'm gonna use the back of my brush to make little flower dots or points. And I'm gonna do all these pretty colors. I'm gonna do yellow and I'm just gonna dot, dot like that. And I'll do a few and then I'll lift up my page. I dip it in the paint and then all over the tree branches and around, it's gonna look like pretty little flower dots. I learned this when I was a little one and we would say dot dot Surat because the artist that made pointillism popular's name was Surat. Dot dot Surat. I love pointillism. But I'm gonna do the same thing with the green. I'm gonna dip it into my green paint and I'm gonna do some for more leaves, maybe some bigger dots. And then I'm gonna do the same with the blue. And then we'll add some green leaves, or grass rather, um, with the green paint using the paint brush. Okay, this is looking very springy and fun. I can't wait to show you. Are you guys having fun? It's kind of like you're a woodpecker. Instead of brushing, you're da or dabbing or pecking like a woodpecker, right? So cool. Okay, look at mine. Look at all those spring flowers. Woo, look at the difference between winter and spring. And then I'm gonna flip my paintbrush over, careful not to touch the end where your paint is. And I'm gonna grab the green and I'm gonna do some more green grass by around my little fringe grass, making some brush strokes. Maybe I wanna paint some more leaves, bigger leaves around my tree. Maybe you wanna paint some bluebirds in there. Maybe you wanna, in the grass, do some more pointillism and do some more blue flowers. I just love the explosion of color on the spring side, but I also like the quiet and the serene of the winter. You guys keep going and crafting. This is where mine is. I can't wait to hear from my friends in the playroom how you liked this craft. Yay, have such a good day, you guys, and I can't wait to craft again soon. Thanks so much, bye.